Well, good morning, everybody. It's about seven o'clock in the morning or so, and I'm going out for a little breakfast run to my favorite breakfast place. And I figured I'm gonna take my KPR today. I haven't been on this bike in a little while. I need to give it some love too. You know, when you get you a new bike, it kind of takes the center of, of attention for a while. <laughs> so, I want to get back on the KPR. I really enjoy riding this bike. I miss it. has really good acceleration for a 200 cc and it's a six speed it maintains speed really good what day it's cold this morning <laughs> I don't know what the temperature is, but it's got to probably be in the 40s. I got a big old long neck, and even with all the clothes I got on, I got a bear spot right there, and that's where it's hitting. That's where I feel it the most. Yeah, I haven't done a video on the KPR in a long time and <clears throat> so I thought I'd take my bike out and and give it a little run through and boy I tell you I miss it There's so much about this bike that I like probably has one of the best dash uh, instrument clusters of any of my bikes. I like it. I like the sweeping tachometer, the analog tachometer, and it just kind of makes it uh, interactive with that shift light. <laughs> I've never had a shift light on any motorcycle on my bike uh, that I can remember of any of my bikes. I may have, but I don't remember it. Well, it's a pretty cool feature. Oh, you guys have a favorite place you like to go to breakfast? I know as you get older, you know, I can make my breakfast. I have a lot, and I still do whenever I work on through the week. But on the weekend, I like to make it a little special thing, get out on a bike and go get something to eat. A lot of times before my wife ever gets up, because I'm an early riser. Most of the time I'm out of bed by four or five o'clock, something like that. I slept in this morning, I didn't get up till six. That's unusual for me. We're gonna get down here and we're gonna hop up on the interstate. This exhaust has no popping whatsoever on it. This is the uh, aftermarket exhaust on this bike from a KPT 200. Fits perfectly on this bike. Well, almost perfectly. You have to trim the plastic a little bit. This bike does really good on the interstate. I'm kind of surprised. When I first got it, I didn't 
think I'd be taking it on the interstate as much because I ride this, well I used to ride it on the interstate all the time, I haven't been on it in a while like I said. Getting really close to the end of the riding season for me. I don't mind riding in the cold down to probably 50. Lately I've been riding in the 40s, but I don't like riding in the 40s too much. But it's Saturday morning, I gotta take a bike out. Just got to. Never the life of the KPT 400 but uh, I'm looking forward to that. It's supposed to be in the spring. And if that comes out, it has all the boxes and everything on it. And everything looks good on it. It's a twin cylinder. I think it puts out a little over 40 horsepower. And uh, I think that it will do interstate travel pretty decent. I think it's got top speed in the 90s, something like that. I don't know all the details about it yet. But my plan is to get that. I'm going to get a brand new one of those. Take it down to visit my friend down in Louisiana, Jerry Hawk 250. You guys know him, watch his channel. You probably know him from China Riders. I want to go down and visit him. And I'd like to have a new bike to do that with. You know, if you've been on a Kawasaki Ninja or something like that that's similar to this bike, you'd laugh at me, you know, because those bikes are so much faster, but this is fast and fun in a different way. You know, like that old saying goes, it's better to ride a slow bike fast than a fast bike slow. There ain't nothing worse than riding a fast bike slow. My battery was weak before I put the maintainer on it. And it's a brand new battery. It's just been sitting too long. I gotta make sure that I ride this bike just a little bit more often. I'm gonna have to put them on a schedule. <laughs> Alright. I'm at my destination. I love me some Panera bread. Alright everybody, I'm here, so I'm going to go in and get me a bite to eat, and I'm going to sign off for now. So I appreciate you watching, and uh, catch me on the next one.